The friends, I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for almost seven years now. And often in the comments, I see people confused. They say, help me, I don't know where to start. I don't know what diet to do. My answer is, you can do any diet that you would like, any method that you think would work for you to lose weight. But there's one thing that you have to do before you actually lose the weight. And that is, you need to be in a calorie deficit. There are so many diets out there. There's portion control, there's intermittent fasting, keto, I don't even know, carnivore diet. Well, when I grew up, it was called, the low carb diets were called South Beach diet, yes, Atkins, Atkins diet. And the reason why those work is because they all lower your calories. Exactly, so this is what's often not mentioned. It'll be the diet being pushed, so like, you know, Weight Watchers, Slim Fast, Cabbage Soup Diet, and they all work. But often what's not actually said is the real reason why they're working. It's because you're going in a calorie deficit. You're eating less. If you want to do a specific diet or try something, that's cool. But no, there isn't any loophole. In order to lose weight, you have to be in a calorie deficit by eating less or exercising more or both. What happens is people will try keto, for example. Like we and, have before. Yeah, like we have, and they'll say, this is working, and they think it's because they've lowered their carbs, and so then people will start to think, well, I can only lose weight if I take out my carbs, or they do intermittent fasting, and they think, well, I can only eat within a certain window because that's the only thing that works. Actually, the real reason is, all the diets, no matter what they are, mean you are eating less. So it's whatever you wanna do in order to do that. We took away so much, we struggled with weight our whole lives. And Kyle and I have both lost 130 pounds and kept it off for the same amount of time and we did it with portion control. But before that, we struggled. We did fad diet after fad diet. We tried every trend, every exercise challenge, everything that you can think of, we tried it. We couldn't stick to any of it. It worked, but only for so long because all of the diets required us to take away something. And portion control allowed us to eat what we wanted and just eat less of it. And that was so much less overwhelming. And we're not doing this video to be like divisive. No. Because there are a lot of people that tell us they love keto, they love intermittent fasting, it works for their lifestyle. Yes. And that's cool. And that's why we say whatever method you want to choose to lose weight is great, it works. But underneath it, it's because you're going in a calorie deficit. Yeah, we're making so, this video to kind of simplify it because mm -hmm. if me and Nicole would have been told that, you know, a decade ago, it might have simplified our choices and going, yes. oh, I only just have to be in a calorie deficit so I don't have to restrict, restrict uh, yes. food groups and all that other stuff. Exactly. This video is, if you're, if something's working for you, cool, keep doing it. But if you're somebody struggling and you think you have to take away carbs or what you're doing isn't working, the only thing you need to do is eat a little bit less. And it doesn't have to be a lot less, just a little bit. Kyle and I made very small changes to start with the portion control and that's what helped us get the results and what helped us stick to it because the changes were so small, we felt like we could do it all the time. And when it comes to eating less, a lot of people think, okay, I have to go from, you know, thousands of calories and cut it way down to 1200. You, it doesn't have to be a lot less. There are ways to eat a little bit less or eat in a calorie deficit without taking away massive amounts of food and lowering your intake massive by massive amounts of calories. For some of the things that we did in the very beginning were very simple. For instance, I loved pop. I drank seven cans of Dr. Pepper every single day, the regular pop. I wasn't ready to not drink seven cans of pop, but what I was ready for was to switch it to diet. So instead of seven regular, I drank seven diet Dr. Pepper, didn't feel like I was missing out on anything, but guess what? That automatically put me in a thousand calorie deficit a day because I was no longer drinking a thousand calories of pop. And knowing what we know now, we would actually advise you to not do that. Like it's, it's for most people, it's way too many calories, you too know, much. down. 
we where have, you don't have to do it that fast. You don't have to do it that fast. You can switch over one. If you're drinking seven, you can drink six regular and do one diet and that'll put you, one can is like 140 calories. So that already puts you in 140 calorie deficit a day if you're doing that a day. So like for instance, the, the, to go more into what we used to get stuck on, when we were growing up, there was something called the cabbage soup diet. Yes, which and I did. <laughs> I did it too. And I had it in my brain that there was some magic in cabbage soup that made you lose weight. When I didn't know, it was just drastically, basically a starvation diet. Yes, and why you can't stick to those is because one, it's denying yourself a lot of different food groups and balance. It's also way, like Kyle said, drastically reducing your calories. So you only really like, you can start with 50 calories. If you have a big breakfast, for example, instead of like, say you like bacon, instead of four slices of bacon, you could have three every day until you get used to that and maybe go to two eventually. You know, it doesn't have to be major cutting calories. You can eat a balanced diet, you can eat the foods you like, just lowering it a little bit will help you get results like right away. And almost. why it because why it helps you get some results is because it's sustainable that way. Like um, if you're eating four whole eggs for breakfast, one egg less is 70 calories. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a big deficit every if you're not, day. If you're not used to dieting or you think like me and Nicole used to think that it has to be hundreds or even worse, thousands of calories down from what you normally eat. It, it's very scary to think that you have to take away and starve yourself when starting any diet, when re in reality, like Nicole said, it's just a little bit of calories can do the trick. And if you take away too many calories, you, you're you gonna lose weight. If you take away too many too fast, um, you're gonna lose weight and you're gonna think, oh, it's gonna keep falling off like this so fast. But the thing is, once your body gets used to what you're doing, it's not gonna lose weight anymore. And losing it too fast usually means you're not gonna be able to keep it off because you're probably doing it in a way that's not sustainable. So a little bit at a time, like Kyle said, one less egg or one diet pop instead of a regular pop a day, three slices of bacon instead of four, little changes every single day and being consistent with them, that's what works. So I had, I was 400 pounds and I was trying everything like we said and I, I did keto. I lost 60 pounds in like two months which I thought was amazing right. but it wasn't because I was starving and like Nicole said by you know four or five weeks in my fast weight loss wasn't fast. All of a sudden I plateaued and then I started gaining weight on keto and I did not add in carbs, I did not add in sugar, I was just eating too many calories. And I'll tell you one story, I found this diet in a magazine when I was a teenager and I lost 20 pounds in two weeks. It was a low carb diet, but at the time I was a vegetarian. So I, and I wasn't really eating that great for a, vegetari a vegetarian, so when I took away the carbs, I was eating basically veggies and pickles and some cheese and I was like wow this is great this low carb diet but really I was under eating I wasn't even doing the diet properly I lost 20 pounds in two weeks and I thought that would happen forever it was way too much too fast in a non-sustainable way and I ended up doing the same as Kyle I started to gain a lot of weight back all the weight back that I lost plus more so this is gonna sound funny how I'm gonna say this but I just have to say it I don't know I'm not a wordsmith <laughs> every diet can work but the only diet that works is the one that you can sustain exactly so whatever method you choose to lose weight if it's something that you don't like you gotta love it or leave it that's what I keep saying if it's not if you're not having fun you're not getting it done if you don't love it if you're taking away bread and you love bread um, that's probably not gonna work so stick something you can stick to is probably gonna work. That's why Kyle and I were able to stick to portion control because it allowed us to eat everything that we loved, but a little bit less. Yeah, the one and only diet that's the best is the one that you personally can stick to. And at whatever, you know, things, different things work for different people. Portion control worked for us. Find what works for you. If you love it, you're more likely to stick to it. And if you guys wanna know exactly what Kyle and I ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we do have two weight loss guides in the links down below. We also have a brand new guilt-free cookbook, which is low calorie versions of all your favorite foods. So you get the best foods 
but without the guilt and extra calories. Link for that is down below. If you want to know what uh, the protein powder that we use, we also have the link down there for that. Huddled or harder than last time. I just want to say a comment that we always get is like, I don't want to count calories or I don't know how to count calories. You don't have to. Like me and Nicole did portion control in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You just have to be in a deficit. Whether or not you know it is irrelevant. If you're going down in weight, you're in a deficit. So you don't have to count calories. If you're doing keto, portion control, whatever, you'll know if you're in a deficit if the scale's going down. Yeah, we we actually didn't count calories. We measured out portions according to the backs of nutrition labels and that was it. Then we started losing the weight. We weighed ourselves once a week and if we were losing weight, we knew we were eating the right amount. If we were not losing or we were gaining, then we would pull back just a little bit. Only like 20, 30 calories, not a lot. And for us, for, like the, portions. for the two years it took us to lose the weight, a sustainable pace for me and Nicole was like one to two pounds a week. Now in yeah. the beginning, we still ate the same way we did the whole time. It's just it fell off faster in the beginning because we had so much weight to lose. Yeah, we lost 50 pounds in three months, but that's because we had a lot of weight to lose. Then it slowed down to a good pace, which was one to two pounds a week for us. So hopefully that helps you guys out. One, a good diet, one you can stick to. And you can watch these two videos for more info on how we did that or what, you know, maybe you'll find something that worked for you. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we did pretty good out in the cold. Yeah, we did. And Kyle has a light on his head. <laughs> yep. Bye. Whatever it takes, right, babe? Whatever. <laughs> right, babe. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bite through it. 